So two weeks ago, just for fun, I googled my song and it showed up on YouTube. And I was like, hey, uh, no one asked me who put that up there. So I check it out and it is my song, the same one on the project that I'm selling at CD Baby. I mean, it sounds great, but that's the point. Why would anybody download my music if they can hear it for free on YouTube? And oh, by the way, that recording actually cost me a lot of money, so it would be really great if I could make some back by selling downloads. I poke around on YouTube and I find out that while they make it really easy for people who want to upload, even if they're uploading stuff they shouldn't, they make it really hard for anyone trying to protect their own work. Yeah, I can find what they call a takedown notice, but I've got to fill out this whole long legal form full of warnings and threats that says that I'm the copyright owner and everything. But okay, I think it's worth it. So I go through that and I submit the takedown notice. And when I check back a few hours later, my song is gone. But in its place is a sad face with a notice with my name on it that says that I made YouTube take it down. Seriously? Now I'm really upset. And worse than that, the next day I Google my song again and it's back up on YouTube. And I'm like, hey, I, I just took this down. But it turns out that even though YouTube knows it's my song and they have the technology to keep people from uploading it without permission, they let them upload it anyway and then wait for me to file another takedown notice. No kidding, this goes on day after day. I file notice after notice. YouTube takes down my song, but they let it be put up again, sometimes by the same person. So finally I think, I'm just gonna contact these people who like my music so much and explain why I'd rather they didn't upload my tracks to YouTube. But YouTube won't give me their email address. But get this, they will give the uploaders my email address so they can send me nasty messages. Are you kidding me? I asked one of my friends if he thought the big record companies had the same problem, and he told me no, of course not. They're making money from YouTube ads, and they make a ton of money for YouTube. They don't have to worry about filing takedown notices. Yep, the little guy gets screwed again. I was so proud when I released my music. And now I'm thinking, what's the point? I can never make back the money I spent making it, and how can I make a living doing this? It's time for YouTube to take responsibility for the copyright infringement they facilitate and profit from. If you're a music writer, performer, or producer, it's time that YouTube treats you fairly. We are Music Answers, writers, performers, and producers united to inform and protect our community. Come join us at musicanswers.org.